once upon a time, there was a wise and kind sultan. His name was Sultan Sulaiman. His people loved him very much. Whenever there was a problem among the villagers, he will solve it. The solution is always fair and just. It made people very happy. One day, there was a problem between two women. It was a truly strange problem. The two women ran in the into Sultan courtyard. The Sultan men tried to stop them, but could not. One woman was having a baby in her hand. The other ladies was trying to grab the baby. Both the ladies were angry, upset, and were crying. This baby is mine, said the thin lady, the fat lady screamed. No, no, this baby is mine. The Sultan was puzzled. The Sultan has solved many problems, but this problem was really strange. Quiet, please be quiet, ladies. He shouted at them. This baby is mine. I delivered him. But the fat lady say the baby is hers. Help me, your highness. This woman is a thief. No, no. It is my baby. I told her to take care of my baby for a while. But he does not want to return back my baby to me. Please, your highness. I haven't asleep last night. I want, I miss my baby. I want my baby back, sobbed the fat lady. The Sultan front. This is strange. How can there be two mothers for a baby? Only one of you could have delivered the baby. Which one of you? Asked the Sultan. Listen, ladies, tell me the truth. Only one of you could have delivered the baby. Which one of you? I could send my men to the village to find out. But that is a waste of time. It's me, it's me, shouted the thin lady. No, no, it's me. I raised the baby for nine months and I delivered him. He is my baby, sobbed the fat lady. Hmm, both seem to equally love the baby, thought the sultan. For once, he was confused. The Sultan paced up and down the courtyard. He was thinking very hard. Both the women were crying. All the men in the courtyard had never seen the wise Sultan Sulaiman so deep in thought. Everyone waited eagerly for the solution. What will the answer be? Who is the real mother? The leader was asked. The Sultan was not happy at all what he was about to do. He wished the ladies were harness and truthful, but soon the truth will be out. He will punish the liars severely. He looked about him and decided he had to do it. Suddenly, the Sultan stopped passing. Everyone looked at him. Well, ladies, Put the baby in the center of the courtyard. The fat lady who was carrying the baby followed the sultan instruction. Now, the baby is lying on the floor, crying away. Both the women stood at the far end of the courtyard. The sultan courtyard was dense. Two women were crying. The baby was crying away. The Sultan men and the workers stopped working. Everyone, everyone crowded around the sea. The Sultan looked hard at both the woman's face. The Sultan went near the baby. Since both of you want the baby, you both show half it. Said the Sultan calmly. Suddenly, the Sultan pulled out his sword. I shall slice the baby into two, so that each of you can have one half of the baby," said the Sultan loud and clear. 
just a good decision, Your Highness, said the thin lady. No, no, don't kill my baby. Never mind, let her have the baby. He, I don't want my baby to die, screamed the fat lady holding the sultan leg. Ah, excellent, I found a real mother. Get up, baby, you are the real mother. For no mother would want the child killed in front of her eyes. You ladies, you is a cheat. Take her and put her in the prison. Ordered the sultan. The fat lady took her baby and cuddled him in the sorrow. She thanked the wise sultan and went home. The sultan was so pleased. The sultan loud loudly. I know the truth will be prevalent. Do you think I will kill an innocent baby? Never, never. But Allah, the Almighty, has given me wisdom to think. From the story, we learn the wisdom is greater than malice. Thank you.